Hello everyone, welcome to A Day in the Life of the Average Aboriginal. I'm Lost Info and welcome to my channel. Um, as you can probably see, it's uh, it's a little early in the morning. Right now it is 9.15. <clears throat> so um, I had some alright sleep. Um, as you probably tell, my throat's a little bit uh, scratchy still and not really uh, anything cool on that. My cat's in here, in here with me, she's just walking around. Doing weird things. Um, you want cat? Yeah, I don't know. You, you probably could see her tail. <coughs> um, not too sure how cold it'll be out there. But, you know, just by having the window open a little bit this morning, I think it's probably about minus five. That's probably what you know how cold it is out there. <clears throat> um, okay. Yeah, kitty kitty. Yeah, my cat was out uh, a little bit through the night. Well, uh, halfway through the night, she wanted out. I let her out, and then uh, through the night, I had to go to wash him because I had you know uh, green tea late. So I had to go to the washroom in the middle of the night, and then, you know, she wanted back in. And then when I woke up just recently, around 9, she scratched on the door. She wanted, uh, back in again. So, you know, I let her back in. Um. So, let's see. Let's do a recap of yesterday. Breakfast time. I did have those, um, pancakes. Well, like a brunch, because it was a little bit later. Uh, I did have those pancakes, and um, they, I did mix them with uh, the blueberry jam. You know, I did have the frozen blueberries in the freezer still, but there's lots of blueberry jam in there. I thought I might maybe mix some of that in there. So it made the pancakes purple. Um, I didn't have, like, big, fat, full-size ones. Maybe more, like, medium size and they're, they're thinner. But I had a stack of three anyway. So, you know, I put on a pancake down, lightly buttered it, and syrup. Near a pancake down, lightly buttered, put syrup. Another pancake, lightly buttered, and put syrup in that. And, you know, it's not even considered really even regular size. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't as fluffy. You know, I could have, you know, did it fluffier, but I don't know. I think it's been probably because of the uh, blueberries that's in it. I don't know. Maybe it made it, you know, thinner. Or, you know, it should have made it thicker. I don't know. Maybe a little too much water. But maybe, you know, tomorrow I might even try it again. And, you know, see how it works. <clears throat> Cat. So, like I said, it's, it's just after 9. And you don't really see much light right now. Uh, sometimes it's darker out there. And then, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm doing a 6 or 7 o'clock video, it is not much sun out there, though. I'm doing a 9 o'clock video, and it's probably, like, over here. It's like 9 o'clock over there, and 10, 11, and 12. Like 12 are just, just, uh, you know, peeking through my window. These uh, days, the, the weather has been really weird, so, uh, you know, can't. With it being warm, cold, warm, cold, even, you can probably see that in some videos I'm itching is because of the weather. You know, I should be using some kind of lotion, but, you know, um... I don't know. I, I just really care these days. Cat. You my cat? She's on my lap now. Silly cat. You probably see tail. Ring? My cat. Yeah, that's my silly cat. She's always liking a lot of attention. You know, she likes to sleep in the bed with me. Usually by my feet on the left side because I mostly roll onto my right. Yeah, she's a good cat. For a long time, I think about for about six or seven years, she's always looked like she was um, like a kitten. <clears throat> she's going on 10 soon. Um, fat cat's going on 12, 
fluffy cat, she's going on 13. So, you know, I have had them for a long time. She's a good cat, though. Yeah. Good cat. I think she's going. Wait a second. Oh. Okay, she's going on nine. Yeah, she's going on nine. <clears throat> Cause I got her around 2007. Um. <laughs> yeah, she's going on nine. <clears throat> uh, she's, I don't know what kind of cat. She's maybe part tabby, I don't know. She has um, kind of like the barn uh, color to her. But she has like a like a beige underbelly, like a dark beige, kind of like a caramel, dark caramel caramel underbelly. I would say so anyway. And then she's got a little bit of you know the white kind of white furs there on her, on her, her underbelly too. But she's uh, she's like beige, not not a caramel. She's more like a, a beige underbelly. Um. No, she's a, she always likes to get a lot of attention. She always wants to be, you know, center of the attention. She always wants to be noticed. She always, always wants to be heard, you know. And, you know, th this is the way she is. She's always been like that for a long time. <coughs> As a fat cat, if I'm in the kitchen, it doesn't matter how many rooms away he is, he hears it and I'm in the kitchen. And he wants anything that I want, even though he won't like it. So anytime if I'm making sandwiches and I got meat and stuff and he's, he's, he's scratching at the uh, island, he wants you know wants something that I, that I'm having. So if I have irons, I'll I'll get him to sniff the irons and he'll just like turn his face. And you know I'm just slice them away you know like uh, the irons you know the tomato and the uh, green pepper, and then he's scratching at the island again. So you know I'll get him to sniff the iron and he'll turn away again. Takes about three times and he'll like leave me alone because you know I'm making my sandwich and you got your own damn food. But sometimes I do you know share a little bit. You know, in the beginning <clears throat> it was like stuff that would fall off the island and you know and it's like too late hits the floor it's his. And that most at that time was uh, turkey. Uh, and another time that you no know, chunk fell off you know uh, off my plate while I'm chopping, and you know that was roast and you know it's his. So if I have like uh, the ham juices from the can, I'll give him that. If I have the tuna juices from the can, I'll give him that. Uh, even the, even the canned turkey, I did not, you know, give him the juices. Um, you know, if I have say sardines, oh for sure he's you know, wanting some of that. So I need the sardine bits or your know, oils. Uh, you know, I give him that too. So I guess you know it's, it helps with the digestive system. You know, helps them with their nice shiny uh, fur. You know, shiny coat fur. Uh, his is not really too shiny because he's older now, and he's he's got like a rough fur because he's a wire hair cat. Um, it's hard to describe that, but you know he's he's gray and white, and he's got um, he's got yellow eyes, but they're like orangey yellow eyes, and they don't really they don't really suit him. When I first got him, it's like he's got one of the kind of eyes, and <clears throat> he was a runt of his, uh, you know, of his siblings, of you know the uh, kittens, I guess. And uh, my one older cousin, I mean, she is probably like 55, 60, I think, 55, 60. But anyway, she is the one that. Um, um, I guess she had, had, her cats had kittens, or somebody in the area had kittens, and one of the kids, one of her kids brought the cat in home, she didn't really want it because she had two cats already, and she went over to my aunt's to visit my aunt's, but, you know, she was knocking the door, and I don't answer, and she had the kitten with her, I don't know if she knocked on the door, but my aunt said that, you know, she heard a, her, a door open and close, and, and, um, my co older cousin was gone, and uh, I guess you know when I came back from a friend's house. Now I was staying with my aunt at the time. I came back from a friend's house, and there was this kitten walking around. 
So my aunt was older, and you know, she had arthritis and uh, diabetes, you know, and you know she she had trouble walking sometimes. So I was most of me was taking care of the little little fat cat, and he was like a little he was a little tiny thing. He was like a runt. So he got used to me, and you know, um, sometimes he would be laying in my room, laying at my feet, and you know I I took care of him a lot. Now I did litter box. At that time I was using the crystal uh, clear uh, litter and that was working great and then you know it was kind of a, a pain when you know some of that's on the ground and you're walking by if you got bare feet or socks on it was it was kind of sharp so we went back to the uh, regular uh, gravel at that time <clears throat> now he got older and older you know and he started kind of like talking like uh, sometimes he's walking down the hallway and you know I'm going to my bedroom, I shut my door, you know, doing stuff in my bedroom, and he's on the other side going, oh, no. <laughs> and, um, sometimes if, uh, you know, I'm, I'm waking up a little late, or, you know, I'm gone out someplace, you know, my aunt's gone out someplace, or she's busy, and, uh, you know, I come home, and I find his glass bowl upside down, because that's his water bowl. So I guess what he does is that, um, he does doesn't really let us know that he wants water. He'll go and you step on the edge of the dish and flip it over and then that makes us it makes a sound to let us know that, hey, I want some damn water. So I guess he, you know, got grew up around me and, you know, he knew me. Um, I always you know spend time in the bedroom, you know, sit with me, uh, you know, does that little uh, massaging thing to my back. Um you know, he was, he's always been a good cat, you know, he's been in a pain in my ass when, when he started getting a little older, you know, played a lot, and, uh, um, you know, got his brushing, and, you know, he's got his treats, and, uh, you know, he mailed a lot more then, but he doesn't mail that much now, because he's older, um, now, I was gonna say, oh, some, there's a time when I would say, uh, that word knock knocks, and he would know exactly what that is. And sometimes when I see his water bowl empty, I go, you want some water? And then in time, I think about a few months to a year later, he was going, wah, wah. He was meowing, meowing the word water. And I would know that he needed water. <clears throat> um, so then, um, you know, he, we had a routine, you know. Make sure he has water in the morning, and you know, treats around noon, and then um, I'll, I always has dry food. Then I started with his wet food. You know, I did I did that for about three years, and I thought maybe you know, the cats don't really need any wet food after that after three years, and I stopped for two years. And then there's one local lady said, no, no, you should always give your cat wet food. You know, it helps with digest digestive system, digestive system. You know, it helps with the cat. And I said, oh, okay. You know, start giving the cats more, and you know. Um, I think for another few more years, and then you know another person who was a, a cat person is like, oh no, you got to give the cat worms. You know, cat gets older, you know, can't digest that, and it stays in your stomach, gonna get worms. So <clears throat> I stopped for another few more years. Well, two more years, and um, let's see, that's uh, yeah. So the, for the past you know, uh, two or three years, he's been always eating wet food. In the beginning, I used to warm it up for him in the microwave, and when he hears that microwave or he hears the sound of that can opener, he is there. <clears throat> He's always liked his wet food. So I make sure that he gets that every day, and, um, second here, here we go. Um, make sure that he has his wet food every day, his treats, and, you know, water. And they've gotten older now to drink a lot of water, and, you know, I fill in that big bowl up, um, like twice a day. Uh, let's see, just describe the size of that. Um, I don't know, it's like a regular size mixing bowl, but two of those bowls a day. And, but this one's a, like a ceramic, and you know, I keep that, it, it keeps it clean. Uh, I don't go plastic because I know that plastic is not really that good, you know, it doesn't really wash well sometimes, and it would start giving him a salmon lip. So, um, I started with uh, the tin. The tin was okay, but 
the tin temperatures, you know, it all depends on what time, whereabouts in the room that you would have it. Uh, there was a time, you know, it was always in the, uh, in the darkness and it would attract flies and, and, and like maggots and, and its wet food. So then, you know, when, they, when I moved from place to place, then there was a time, you know, I have it by um, the front door and it was attracting fruit flies. And then there's a time I would have it by, um, um, in the kitchen and then, uh, well, it's, you know, some people, you know, it's, it's underfoot and then they'll see it and they end up kicking it, you know, or, you know, thinking that he's in the way and, you know, but now it's uh, closer to the heater, but, you know, as he got older, you know, he's always finished off his wet food and I don't give him a, I don't give him a quarter of a can or half a can. In the beginning when he was a kid, I was giving him like a quarter of a can. But now he's older now, he gets, uh, I would say maybe a tablespoon to maybe two teaspoons. So he gets that and, you know, um, my attention whore cat, she likes that too. She likes the wet food. But, you know, the bigger fluffy cat, she doesn't really care for that. She just likes her treats, her water, and her dry food. And, you know, fat cat likes all, likes all three and, you know, occasional crumbs from uh, stuff that falls on the floor or, you know, we give him like a little bit of scraps. We try not to do that too much because he depends on that now too. If I'm going for something to eat or a snack, you know, he wants to be there. He wants to have anything that I have. And, and, and you know, if he doesn't even like it. <coughs> um, so, you know, he was he's a good cat. Um, I think, let's see, he's, you know, 12. I think he's got maybe another uh, three to five more years, you know, on him. <coughs> he's not showing any signs of, you know, uh, of, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, like a senior kind of thing. You know, he's walking around fine, he's still playing. He's not running around, you know. He's not meowing loud, well, except for when he goes to the, goes to the um, litter box. He's always meowing. He lets everybody know he's going to take a crap. I don't know what's with him, he's like that. He acts like that. You know, he's done taking, or he's going to do a take crap, or he's going to done taking the crap. I know when he's done taking a crap, he comes running down there like really fast, like uh, like he's been attacked by bees or something. Um, so there was a time there was another cat I had, and uh, it was kind of abandoned. You know, I took a cat in. You know, cat was still a kitten, and you know, he grew up uh, with him uh, no, as a buddy, but that cat was only around for like maybe a couple years, and. Um, we used to let him out and let the other cat out and, you know, they had their freedom. But the other cat was always, always, uh, curious, always trying to cross, cross the road to, uh, other properties. And when we're, when we're, uh, me and the, uh, when she is now ex-wife at the time. And I guess got hit by a car and that car didn't stop. The, um, the roommate at that time, you know, seen that car and, you know, he was running over toward the road and yelling at that car. And that car was long gone. That car didn't care. So uh, he put the cat in a box and didn't know what he wanted to do with it and, you know, something, uh, what the hell is that? Oh. Eh. Um. What do you call it? Uh, I didn't know. It was way too late to try to take, it, to take the cat to the vet. But, you know, it blood coming out of the mouth and nose and, you know, it, its head is squished. So, uh, me went to, the, I went, you know, take the box and, you know, carried it and, you know, I had a shovel with me. Well, the, uh, roommate carried the shovel and, you know, we dug a big enough hole and, you know, buried him in the hole and, you know, he was a good cat. And then the gizmo, he was a good cat. He liked to lay in the, uh, bathroom sink and that bathroom tap liked to always drip. So he likes the, the coolness of the drip on, on him. And he would lay in the sink long enough that when he falls asleep, that the water would fill up and he would have um, uh, like water up to his neck. And if I'm coming to go to the washroom and he hears me, he gets out of the sink and then you hear a plug sound and a water drain and you see this wet cat. So it, it, it's he's silly. He was a silly cat. <clears throat> but he was one of a kind too. So, you know, which, uh, well, you know, fat cat would always see a cat come and go in life. Um, sometimes I see abandoned cats, you know, I take them in and, you know, I find them homes or, you know, I get the cat lady and I talk to the cat lady and, you know, 
um, you know, she, uh, um, you know, does, you know, something like she gets them home or gets them spayed and neutered or whatever, you know. And, you know, it, it, it's not just uh, like an often thing, you know. It's maybe every three months or six months, maybe every year that, you know, I come across a stray cat. You know, I'll put up some flyers and try to find them to the owners of these cats, but you no, know, nobody really uh, does things. But there's even one cat that I had, and uh, I knew exactly it was being bended. It was sitting in um, a giant parking lot, a grocery store parking lot, and it was very friendly. It came to me, and you know, it was it was fine. You know, so I carried it through the uh, through the woods and to my house, but it was really scared of cars. So I don't think that it was in a car or uh, went for a ride and somebody dropped it off. Maybe, you know, it kind of ran away from home, but still scared of cars. But, you know, it's possible that, you know, the person would have, you know, put the cat in the car with it not, without not even going yet and then drive the, the cat to a certain location and get rid of it. Uh, it, <clears throat> it was still in between being a kitten and still and being a dog cat, but I don't know. I found a nice new home with my one cousin and, you know, he still has that cat now. Um, I named it. Uh, I thought it was. Um, thought it was a, a boy, and I named him Nor. And you know, later on, I found that it was he was a, he was really a she. So I named her Nora. And you know, he changed the name, and I'm not going to really say the name. It's a, kind of an offensive name, but he he does have an offensive name for it, but he shortens it down for a company. So. That cat was doing well. And then, you know, uh, the roommate one time, um, you know, he goes, oh, you got cats and stuff like that. And he goes, I want a dog. I said, why do you want a dog? There's cats here. He goes, well, I don't want, just want a puppy. He said, are you going to really take care of a puppy? You can't even really take care of yourself. No, I was, you know, I was straightforward with him, you know, because he didn't know how to take care of himself or his room or anything. But he ended up getting a kitten, you know, I had the kitten, you know, I had the kitten for about maybe three months, three to six months. And he always kept the kitten in his room. <clears throat> and then what he didn't want to do, the litter box or feed the cat, he would just kick the cat out the door and let the cat eat off, you know, the dry food. I mean, I always mean the dry food. And then the cat would push, you know, the, one of the fat cats away from the wet food. Uh, Leo, the big orange one, he's gone now, but um, he used to get mad at that cat. And, uh, you know, he, he was real, really fat and he would fight for his food. Sometimes he would sho shove the other fat cat uh, from his food. So they would eat together, and you know, like the three of them, and you know, I guess everything was good. And then, you know, one time the, uh, you know, Leo is, uh, being, was really sick, and the roommate moved out with his cat, and then the cat, my cat, my really big cat, he died the next day, and then I knew exactly what was going on because the roommate kicked him a couple times that I know I heard, and I heard a cat meow. It's like, I come out of the room, I said, yo, you know, I'm tired of you kicking my cat. I should kick you. And then, you know, you know, he apologized or something like that and said something. Like the first time, he's like, well, tell the damn cat to move. So it's always in the way. I said, look at this hallway. The hallway's wide. You can get around the, my cat. So I think he kicked the cat pretty good the third time. And then he knew that he really did something wrong. And then he probably had moved out. So now Leo's gone. You know, I had to bury him in, in the woods. And, you know, different woods from the gizmo. But... Now, he was gone before his time. So, you know, um, the one fat, my one fat cat, you know, he's probably got, uh, about, probably three, three years, three to five years, I would say. Because he's, he's, he's always had, uh, uh his food, you know, water, and, you know, he's indoors, but I know he misses the outdoors. Maybe one day he might get a place and, you know, he'll be able to go and walk on the grass before his time to go, too. Now the big fluffy cat, you know, she doesn't, she's scared to even look at, you know, uh, out of another uh, door out to the wilderness and stuff. She mostly hides it, that door opens up. She's scared of, you know, different faces and, you know, um, <coughs> she's scared of uh, people's shoes and stuff. And, you know, um, like kids, she was, it's, it's tough to I say all the details about her, but she came, became, she kind of came from an abusive home. And uh, she was almost gotten killed, but you know, you know she's she's grown to you know to, to love this atmosphere. You know she sees me, she meows. You know I you know she's got older. You know she pees on the bed. You know you know kicked her out. You know had, she's done that three times, and I don't know. 
it'd be risky to, to try to let her in again, but, you know, I kind of miss her, you know, at night time. Because she lay, like, not, right next door, to, right, not next door, right next to me, and, you know, she's a fluffy cat. And, you know, I could actually, you know, put my arm over her and, you know, kind of like a little teddy bear. Yeah, that's not what I like. I don't like teddy bears, but, you know. It's, uh, I know that, you know, it, it's my choice, but, you know, my bed is lonely, and, you know, what can you do in that? Anyway, um, I guess it's enough about cats, anyway. Um, um, what's gonna say now? Uh, so around lunch lunchtime, um, I've been having some veggies in my um, sandwich. I had an egg sandwich, you know. I have a small can of soup, you know, and, and it's in it one sandwich. And um, between lunch and supper time, I did have some um, some fruits. I had another can of that. Um, what is it called again? Fruit cocktail. And I did go for a nice nice bike ride. You know, it was warm out there. It was like plus five. I did go for a bike ride. Uh, neighbor boy was busy, he was doing something else, so, you know, I grabbed my bike and took off and, you know, drove away on my own. I was out there for a few hours and, you know, I didn't, I didn't drive around, uh, town crazy because it, uh, the, the roads were still kind of wet. So, you know, it's not, not really that wet to say that I'm going to get soaked or, you know, get mud on me and, you know, you know, it's something I don't want. You know, I don't want my bike in the rain, that's for sure. The one time I got my had my bike in rain, it was just pouring, and you know I'm in between uh, riding the bike and uh, any kind of uh, shelter roof or anything like that. And about a day or two after that, um, the pedal started to click. Uh, you know, just things started to seem crappy, getting crappier about the bike. And uh, you know, I, I still got to do some kind of tune up on that. Um. Other than that, you know, just tinker around the house on the internet and, you know, a little bit of gaming. And of course, getting the Twitch channel out there and, and doing that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, I think that's all I got to say right now. I know I'm kind of rambling on about different things, but, you know, it's another, another different kind of vlog talking about my cats. But if you like this video, please do hit the like button. Please hit uh, subscribe to me. Uh, you may share this video on your wall, no matter if it's, um, you know, get some more viewers or, or, or whatever, you know. Uh, please do tell your friends and family about me. I uh, hope you guys like this video. And no matter what time of day it is that you watch it. And hope you all have a nice day. No matter what time of day it is. Um, you know, morning, evening, night. But until next time. I will see you.